Hello! In this video I will explain to you the system of the Portable Spectrum Analyzer Aronst SSA. We'll talk about disassembly as well as about installation and replacement of the battery. The unit is made in a metallic body, its upper part has the input ultra-high frequency SMA connector and the light diode for the mode of operation. The input high frequency connector has a replaceable adapter SMA male, SMA female performing the protection from wearing out. On the back cover there is a mini USB connection and the power switch. The information is displayed by an Android tablet connected to the Spectrum Analyzer with Bluetooth. In the supply package you can also find an OTG cable of the type micro USB mini USB for USB connection. Mini USB connector is used to charge the battery with a capacity of about 1000 mAh and operation voltage of 3 and 7 V. The unit is powered by a standard battery for mobile phones of the type BL4C or BL5C. If you want the battery to last longer, you can easily replace the battery with a battery of larger capacity and an equal operating voltage. To open the cover and replace the battery, you need to unscrew the four even screws and loosen all odd screws, making two turns. Then take off the upper cover. You will see the battery and the print circuit board. If you want to replace or install a new battery, you should solder wires to the battery following the right polarity. The red wire is soldered to the positive terminal and the black wire is soldered to the negative one. Please, keep in your mind that making a mistake may cause damage or even result in an explosion. You can use a double-sided tape or a sticker to install the battery. The circuit board and all the parts of the enclosure are fixed on a steel mount. UHF part of the circuit board is under an additional EMF protective shield case. To make sure that all the parts of the system are shielded securely, they are glued with aluminum foil. A design like this has a guarantee of a high electromagnetic interference factor of suppression, otherwise the interference would harm elements of the electronic circuit of the unit. When you close the body of the unit, close all covers, bolt on the screws making 2-3 turns and then tighten all the body screws one by one. Here it is, ready for use. 